Is he in our inventory now? Oh, he is. Ah, I love him. Let's take him to get hot dogs. Just because it's a dog and hot dogs. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. We just got him. We just met him. You don't know what's strange. Missile. Oh, all right. That little creature of the detectives. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Oh my lord, that is terrifying. Grrr. What? What's wrong, Missile? Oh, that's really scary. Oh, that picture. Oh no. Grrr. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Eek! Missile! Missile! Munch, 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 munch. Whoa, 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 stop that thing. Cannibal! It's eating my samurai dogs. So maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, my samurai dogs. <laughs> wow, he ate every single one. I'm so sorry, Larry. <laughs> sorry! Sorry doesn't pay my bills, Nick! Ah, uh, it's going to have to this time. Oh no! What have I done? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I messed up. Hey, Larry, look, it's Missile. You know, the, the, the dog who ruined your life savings business thing? Isn't he cute? C keep that mud away from me. What am I going to tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick, maybe the stand isn't a front for a mafia money laundering scheme. Maya, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> My four dogs. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, so let's just take Missile on a lovely little walk, shall we? What do you have to say about our dog? Hey, Lana! Oh, cute. Is he yours? He's a canine police dog. His name's Missile. Huh. Canines are the ones that used to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Mmm, creepy. I haven't thought about that. Can he find Gordy for us? I don't think so. I'm just gonna take our dog to all the locations to see what happens. What do you think of our dog? my time showing me things. We have to get cracking on this case. You know the enemy has more tricks up his sleeve. He's bringing in another witness. Okay. Sorry. Missile is a big star in criminal affairs. Why is he named Missile? Huh. Now that you mention it, I'm not sure. But I hear he's actually named for what it's worth. Ah, <sighs> is that a clue? Oh, is he in profiles? No, only humans are allowed in profiles. No camping! The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. No setting tents on fire. They should have put a sign in this park that said no murder. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. What could that be? Because like, I feel like even if I figure out for myself, what object in my surroundings it could be. I'm still not seeing any interactable way to progress. Uh, move. There's... looking at shapes. It's kind of like a pinched hand with very short fingers. This is a fist. So it could be this arm, just without the fan. If the fan is detachable, then it could totally... Yeah. Please, Lada. I'm pretty sure it's- I figured it out, but I don't know how to prove it. Okay, I'm looking it up. Oh no, did I pick the wrong secret weapon? 
Oh, can I change secret weapons? <gasps> I can. Oh, good. Okay. So, I have to return our dog. It's so sad. Hey, take this back, please. Switch to the metal detector. I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Presumably, we are sweeping the ground as we go. Ah! <laughs> Nick! It's beeping! The metal detectors found something! Yes, I heard! Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? In case it's deadly. Ah! Nick! It was deadly! Look! Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy! Maya, first of all, why would you think it's Gordy? Why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Mercury! Oh. Huh? There's, there's something wrapped around this air tank. Yeah, it's part of the banner. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. And I'm so weak. Air tank of dubious value retrieved. Hey, Larry, is this yours? I think it's yours. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Have you seen it before? Huh? Me? N no, never. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of the winter? There's something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. I mean, yeah, it's obviously his. It has his banner. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this air tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Wh why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> must be a coincidence. There's a string of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And used car dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? Did you fake Gordy? I, I was thinking it was part of the compressor used to inflate his steel samurai, but did he fake Gordy? I feel like that's less likely. He used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? The big, that big puffy steel samurai. Uh, uh, no, why would you go asking me a question like that? Why are you being all so cagey about it? Is it illegal somehow? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Uh, right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always use was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and er, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Yeah, we gotta know more. What exactly happened? It didn't go so well? Er, yeah. Do you think it, it could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us! Tell us! Uh, fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam. Whoa. The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. <gasps> oh, so there was only one gun gunshot, but the other sound was this that um, Lotta heard and that set off her camera. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Oh, is there a new talk option? Yes. Um, so the tank around the steel samurai you were trying to flew up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So, 
I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kionse made me give the steel- gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? <laughs> Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's it's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Gordy? Oh, well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? We found him! Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet? Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. I need proof. You get a photo? I have proof. Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Long off jabbering already. Let's see your proof. This is it. This is Gordy. <laughs> Where is our tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? W what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty big bang when it flew. It will bang! The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo! Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? Oh, well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. Yeah, I suppose I didn't have to choose the dialogue option that leads her on slightly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lana. No, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lana. So, tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Boat rental? He's been here? It's been closed, though. There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Maybe he lives there. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all yeah. should go check it out. Thanks, Lana. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Ah. I think I brought that up, right? Because she said she heard two bangs. I probably brought that up. Pretty sure. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just a lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second lake photo added to the court record. Shows an empty lake taken automatically on 1224 at 11.50 p.m. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Mm, poor Lana. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? 
Yeah. The Legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Mm, someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, it's been abandoned. But maybe now that we know, we can knock on the door and be like, Hey, we know you're in here. Hey, Nick! This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Let's do a B and E. Uh, I wanted to uh, not caps lock this. Uh, look at time of death. Okay, so like midnight, but probably specifically twelve fifteen. Knock knock knock. Can we go in, or or what? Do I have to click it again? Small boat rental shop doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Or... Oh! I can go inside. Ah, I see. A parrot. Caretaker shack. Meg! Is that you? Meek! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. <laughs> Meg. Y yes. It finally made up your mind, have you? M my mind. You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. The pasta. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Bali, the kids are home. Hello. Hello. Ah. N Nick, what was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith. Y yes I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. N Nick, what's the wet noodle? A pasta shop, I suppose. Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. Uh. Uh, yep. Uh. He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Uh, well, let's look around. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's... That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients snug and warm and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Um, I think that's less a heated blanket and more, um... I can't remember what it's called, this piece of Japanese furniture. That's like warm. Well, here's a television in here too. That's like a table and there's, it's warm underneath. What is this thing? Like a little safe. Mm. Mm. It's locked. Yeah, it's a safe. <laughs> what are you doing trying to steal his valuables? Wow, there's lots of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Oh, why do you have posters of... I mean, maybe they're the fish that he theoretically sold in his pasta shop. The wet noodle. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Is it? I see that, that dirty smudge on the backsplash. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Hello, bird. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Uh. Hello. Mm. It ignored me. Oh. oh, that's gross. What? You forgot, Meg. You gotta call her name first. Her name? 
Polly, how you been? Hello, hello. Uh, see? Neat! So the parrot's name is Polly! Parrot entered the court record. The erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker answers to the name Polly. Too bad all she can say is hello! Uh, old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Hmm. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly. Hee uh. <laughs> hee, cute. Maya's found a new friend. <laughs> uh, I think that, is this a gun? Uh, there we go. Oh, it's a fishing pole. This fishing pole looks expensive. This is the um, Grossberg music. I remember because it sounds like Animal Crossing. Okay, let's talk to you, I suppose. Uh, um, a pasta shop? Oh, uh, yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. So that makes you two the third generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. D dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. P pasta wrangler? The West? Is it pasta from Italy? Meg. Yes? You know, the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? R right, of course, everyone, everybody knows that. Where does this game take place? Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Uh. Dude, this would be a lot easier if you stopped falling asleep between sentences. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Polly? Uh... Oh, fuck. My memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? Oh, of course. The first thing she thinks of is robbery. One, two, two, eight. Uh. All right. <laughs> hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. One, two, two, eight. Hey, hey don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. I mean... We gotta open this. Yeah, we just learned the combination. What? Please! <laughs> Please! Ah... Uh, maybe I... Uh... Maybe we actually have it written down now? No? Okay, well... Empty lake. Uh... Can I look at it? No. Gunshots, gun, bullet, map, and all this stuff. Um, I don't know. What if I present to you, Polly? Uh. Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Oh, that tricolor pasta we were talking about. Our rain bully holy. I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. I 
I guess go back to the loffus. Meanwhile, I'm I'm looking up what to do. Don't mind me. Oh, present the lake photo. Oh, okay. I just presented the wrong photo. This means nothing to him, but this. Oh, sorry, not that. But this. This. He'll react to. No, listen here, Keith. Oh no, this isn't. No, what? Present the lake photo to the caretaker. Oh, present the attorney badge. Well, time to end this ruse. I do love his pink card cardigan. Ugh, that's the lawyer's badge. I yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Validation! Uh, I get it. Huh? Yup. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith! Uh... Nick Nick! Has our chance to clear things up! Um... Sir? Uh, no, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either! Uh. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us! Uh, hmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Uh, no. <laughs> That's too much of a responsibility. I can't make that promise. Uh, is that any way to treat your old man? Bah. You want my help? You've come to the wrong man. Uh, oh, now he's grumpy. Not to mention, he still thinks we're his kids. Maybe we should just lie and say we'll run a shop? Okay, we promise. Nick, Nick, are you sure about this? I mean, I don't get a choice, but hey, anything to get this case solved. Oh no, Phoenix. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Oh, wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Y yes <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello? Hello? Uh. Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? I don't know. I tried. I tried. I tried. Oh, right. I had to do that first. And now he'll re respond to uh, this. <gasps> he fell asleep. <sighs> Wake up. Make up. Shake up. <laughs> I don't know the words, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lake photo! <gasps> Is this the wrong photo? Am I supposed to show him the first photo? Yes. Lake photo. Are they both called Lake photo? Second Lake photo. Oh, that's the distinction. Okay, well, I want the Lake photo sans second. Uh, yup, I seen this. Y you know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes It's okay. You can call me daddy. Uh... <laughs> I'm not doing that. D Dad? You know something about this? Uh, yup, the other night, out on the lake. Yes! Yes! I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose, since you're taking over the shop and all. Okay, will you tell us now? I have to go here. Okay, there we are. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night, uh, yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. 
Then I heard another one. Bang! Oh! That's not good. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something about it. Or something, something to himself. A yup. What did he say? Uh, a yup. Uh, I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. Did you tell Polly, perhaps? We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Uh, little Terry was just here. Terry? Uh, yup, that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. Oh, how'd you put that together? He comes up and tells me to come tomorrow. To come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Uh... Don't for... Don't f <clears throat> Don't forget DL6. Uh... Uh-huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6. Uh... What? What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister. I, I mean, dad. <laughs> this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird... I guess we just immediately flee. Okay, well... Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure that out, who that old man is. Oh. What? He looked, locked the door from the other side. <sighs> who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. We will stick ourselves right in front of him. So I will remember to talk to him next time. Oh. Hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Okay, never mind. Looks like I'm doing this now. Yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, I will do this next time. Ho 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 ho.